The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to um, fire up a guest operating system or virtual operating system on top of VirtualBox Manager from a virtual disk image file. That means a file with .bdi extension. So when we fire up the guest operating system from .vdi file, um, the difference is the .vdi file is already pre-installed operating system, uh, which is installed from a .iso file. Uh, so when in, in within a virtualization software, when someone install a guest operating system from a .iso file, where .iso file reflects like a CD or um, installation CD. The whole operating system is installed and stored in a virtual disk image, VDI. And this VDI file is portable. Now in this uh, video demonstration, first we show the source from where we will download the .vdi file. And in our case, we are going to download um, the Kali Linux. Um, so as you can see from uh, the location osboxes.org, it has the latest Kali Linux. We are um, going to download the VirtualBox version since we are going to run our fire up this um, guest operating system on top of VirtualBox. There is VMware available as well. Now for VirtualBox, we have two versions, 32-bit and 64-bit. Now depending on your um, host machine you will download for our case for my case I will download 64-bit virtual disk image once I um, download the um, It will be downloaded as uh, a zip file and the size of the zip file is 2.24 GB after you extract it you will get the .vda file and the size of the Virtual disk image is 9.28 GB. So we extract it and we got the .vdi file. The next thing is the fire, firing up this um, Kali Linux in our virtual box. So we are going to create a new operating system. Let's name it as Kali Linux. And automatically it selected Linux type version 64 bit and I'm okay with it. So I'm moving ahead. Now the allocation of memory. So this is um, what someone should smartly allocate the memory because the host memory is 8 GB. So I should not reach um, the red line so that even my host operating system does not get enough memory and it gets slow. Now if my host me me uh, machine uh, becomes slow then my guest operating system will automatically become slow. Again, I cannot um, allocate only 4 MB, which will be too minimum to fire up this machine. Therefore, I have to choose something widely, wisely so that my guest operating system and host operating system both get sufficient resources to run smoothly. So let's take um, roughly 2.8 or 2.7 MB um, and continue. Now I have an option um, that I can Select do not add a virtual hard disk, create a virtual hard disk and use an existing virtual hard disk. Now the second option um, uh, I would select if I was um, installing the virtual operating system from the scratch, that means from an ISO file. But since I have a virtual disk image available, I will just use it. So I create use an existing virtual disk file and then I have to navigate to the place where I have my VDI uh, stored. So my VDI is stored in this location. Let me find it out here. Virtual operating system, 64-bit Kali. Um, open and create. Now, just uh, before I um, start, I will check couple of things and you can play with your um, settings as well which is general system you can see the memory still you can um, update or change the base memory um, display storage 
um, in our case you see dot vdi is plugged in so if someone does not select at the beginning he or she can select here and network so this is the place where we want to concentrate we want to see our one adapter has net which is network address translation that means it will allocate locally one ip address to the virtual operating system and when um, the user will use the internet it will do the netting network address translation and there is no second adapter third adapter but if someone wants he can enable the second adapter and for example we can choose the host only adapter so for the time being we leave it like this with one adapter net and press ok and press start so we are expecting that the Kali Linux will fire up and So once it will be ready, we'll use root osboxes.org. Here you go. Thank you for um, watching this video it is very simple um, in a nutshell this video demonstrate how to fire up a guest operating system um, on top of virtual box which is a virtualization software um, and in, in this case we use Kali Linux as an example thank you